Hello everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. In today's episode, we'll be making a soup that will warm your whole body in the cold weather. It is both tasty and healthy. So come on, let's get cooking. Today we're making a soup based on a recipe that came from my wife's exercise equipment. It has chicken, chickpeas, tomatoes, and spinach, and it's tasty whether it's eaten hot or cold. Here are the players. Two chicken thighs, or breasts, or canned chicken. Make sure they're chopped up to about one inch cubes. One 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans. One clove of garlic. One 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. A quarter cup of white wine. Any cheap brand will do. This one costs about $4 a bottle. Two cups of chicken stock. This is my secret weapon to make all my dishes taste good. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. A bunch of spinach. One tablespoon of olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. First, we're going to chop the chicken thighs in about one inch cubes. Make sure you wash the spinach really well, it can get very sandy. Chop up the spinach to nice bite-sized pieces. Mince the garlic. My favorite trick is to use a cheese grater to make it really fine, the fine cheese grater. Cut and take the juice from one lemon. If you use your hands, you can catch the seeds before they get into the juice, or you can take them out after. Drain and rinse the garbanzo beans, or chickpeas. You'll know they're rinsed if when you roll in water over them, no more bubbles appear. First thing I'm going to do is cook the chicken. You want to heat up the pot. High heat is very good. We're going to put in one tablespoon of oil and add the garlic till it gets a little brown. Then we'll put in the chicken. We let a tablespoon of olive oil heat up a bit. Then we dump it in the garlic. Usually, actually the tray's cheap. Usually I use a cheese grater of the garlic right over the pan so I don't have to put it into a separate dish. Let the garlic get a little brown in color, then we'll add the chicken. Garlic's turning a little brown, let's add the chicken, salt and pepper to taste, and lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of pepper should be enough. My family doesn't like salt, so that's about a quarter teaspoon. You might like more salt than that. Now we're going to cook the chicken, making sure to brown all sides of the chicken. We're going to cook it until the juice from the chicken boils away. And we'll get to the most important part, adding the wine to deglaze the pot. This is a trick you use on most of your dishes. Deglazing the pot with wine, uh, white, white for chicken, red for beef usually. 
but that doesn't matter so much. Because all those brown bits you're going to see after you cook the chicken is where all the flavor is stored. Almost forgot lemon juice. Once you get all the brown bits from the cooking of the chicken, that's where the flavor is stored. And when you put the wine in, it's going to dissolve it into your broth, which will make it much more flavorful than without it. Stir the chicken occasionally to get all the parts on the hot metal. If you see pink chicken looking at you, it's time to stir it up. You can see the sauce is starting a little thicker. It's not too long now before it all boils away. To speed it up before boiling away, stir it a little more often. That'll boil away the water a little quicker. I'm looking for the liquid to boil away so the pot starts getting a little black at the bottom. The chicken's a little bit brown, perfect. Now add the add the white wine. For this small pot, a quarter cup is all I needed. Bigger pot, you might use half a cup. Once you got the wine done, deglaze the pan. You can see it's gotten the wine. You can see it's all colored in. Time to add the chicken stock. I use two cups of water. and two teaspoons of the chicken bouillon for my chicken stock. Once that's been mixed together, you can add in the garbanzo beans and the can of diced tomatoes. Now try to dice tomatoes and chickpeas. Let it come back to a boil. Once it boils up, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we'll add the spinach. Okay, the soup's in a nice good boil. So we're going to turn the heat down all the way to simmer, as low as we can go. Let it simmer to get all the flavors together. You can do it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Or until you're ready, just before you're ready to eat, then we're going to put in the spinach. Just before you're ready to eat. Okay, so you're simmering this for about 10-15 minutes. Family's ready to eat, so it's time to add the spinach. Let it wilt up. And then we can eat it. Two or three minutes is fine for the wilting. Looks like a lot of spinach, doesn't it? You can cut it down if you don't like so much. The spinach shrinks a lot when it cooks. Don't need to have it a high boil, just a nice simmering boil was fine for melting, melting, no, not melting, for wilting and cooking the spinach. That's it, and there you go. It is ready. The spinach has now been wilted, cooked perfectly. Time to serve it right for the spinach. 
Gonna get a couple bowls for the kids, so they can give me their opinion of the Mediterranean soup. Does your mouth of your makes the soup taste good, but this spinach does not. The soup is very good except for the spinach. Ha! The chickpeas ruin the dish, but the spinach makes up for it. And the chicken is very tender. <laughs> Overall, it's a 9.5 out of 10.